Good morning children. Today we are going to learn the steps of blood clotting. Blood clotting is also called the process of cascading. In this process, blood changes from a liquid to a gel. The normal clotting time in human being is 8 to 12 minutes. Let's watch a video to understand the process of clotting. If we are careless while handling a knife, we might cut our finger. Look at the damaged area. It shows that the knife ruptures the blood vessel and this causes immense loss of blood. Inside the artery, the RBCs and platelets escape out through the damaged area. The platelets play a very important role in blood clotting. It initiates the blood clotting. Platelets and damaged tissues release a chemical called thromboplastin. Thromboplastin, along with calcium ion, converts prothrombin present in the blood to thrombin. Thrombin further catalyzes an active fibrinogen to active fibrins. Fibrin threads travel to the damaged area and form a mesh. RBCs get trapped and entangled in the mesh formed by fibrins. So fibrins along with RBCs form a clot. This clot plugs the damaged area and prevents further loss of blood. I hope you must have understood the steps of clotting. So let us recapitulate. Thromboplastin released from damaged tissues and platelets. Thromboplastin along with calcium iron changes prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin further catalyzes Fibrinogen, which is an active form, to fibrins, which is active. Now, fibrin threads along with RBCs form a blood clot. So, blood clot plugs the damaged area and prevents further loss of blood. Extra shots. Children, do you know what are anticoagulants? Anticoagulants are chemicals that dissolve blood clot. And some examples of them are heparin and warfarin. Thank you.